Welcome to Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, John O, and I'm here, chilling on Welcome to NYC.com. Uh, boredom, actually. Me and my brother, Afion Crockett, we were sitting around one day, and we had always liked to do sketches, and we needed an outlet to, I guess, be seen. Um, we, never, we never thought that putting our stuff on YouTube would actually get out to many people as it had. As it has, I should say, and um, so we were sitting around, man, just kicking it, and we we were tired of um, waiting for people to come to us, so we decided to do all of it ourselves, and it really, honestly, started out of boredom, <laughs> and and just being two funny dudes, this was like, yo, let's let's just get a camera and shoot this, man. The first sketch we shot was in some with a high eight camera. If you remember, that's with the big ass tapes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that's what it was, man. What, what we, I said we started that what 2006 2005 um, five years later Ape got his own show John O about to do the same thing so it's is it's, it's a lovely thing man well okay like our early stuff we had did uh, we did like a, a Maxwell sketch and it was funny as heck but the biggest i think the biggest break that popped off for us that people was was checking for us is when we did the uh little wayne jewel santana spoof black mexican um we did that man and uh <laughs> it, it just it just took off like wildfire man and then right after that we followed it with the making the band spoof and we spoofed making a band and you know that even went further I mean, it didn't get as many views because we did a lot. We did a lot of uh, episodes of it, but it garnished uh, the attention of Diddy. Diddy seen it. He wanted to put it on his YouTube channel. Michael Bivens seen it. He called me up and talked about it. Uh, the cat Ankara, who was on the show, he like everybody that was on Making a Band had actually seen the spoof and they loved it. So it it it, it kind of blew us. It propelled us forward after doing those two sketches. Um, honestly, and I'm gonna keep it 100 because we on NewYorkCity.com. Welcome to New York. <sighs> Neither one of us liked Little Wayne. All right, it, it was at a time where everybody was like, "Yo, Wayne is the greatest rapper. Wayne is the greatest rapper." And and Atheon and myself, we come from real hip hop, where where you had to have lyrics, you had to have a hot beat, you had to be saying something that was that was that was hot. And we just didn't like Lil Wayne. Now, as far as Santana was concerned, it, was, it wasn't like we didn't like Santana, but his rhyme scheme was very nursery rhyme-ish, if, 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 if that's what you want to call it. So, um, but trust, it was, no, it, was, it was more on we didn't like Wayne than, than Santana. And uh, so, Ape was like, yo, I'm gonna go do this verse about Wayne. And I was like, all right, well, you know, I'm from Harlem. Santana from Harlem. I'll take care of the Santana part. And that's how it happened, man. And, and, it, and it, was, it was one of those things where we were really trying to go at Wayne because we just was not feeling him like that. Cause Bobby, you know, they've been waiting on it for a long time now, coming. It's going down. Hey! Hey, no. Yeah, Yes, sir. I feel like a black Mexican. I mean, Republican. Damn, I'm lost. Hey, I need directions, friend. Watch me repeat this once again. Because that's how I do it once again. If you see me in the street once again, you know that it's me. So once again, listen, homie. The fifth ain't homie. I love cheese sandwiches with bologna. A little mayo, a tomato. When I was five, I used to play with Plato. Now I'm grown, I still play with Plato. Batman and Robin, Green Hornet and Kato. Now you out, Simon ain't say so. Look at my face, I'm simply as a yo. I blow balloons, I eat with spoons. On Saturday, I watch cartoons. I repeat, I watch cartoons. I said I repeat, I watch cartoons. Jackie Gleason's face is in the mold. The Asian girl did this on Zoom. 
Willy Nilly, Willy Wonka Yo, my style is bonkers I got a truck that's made of Tonka What? Hey. I feel like I'm black and ugly Why you slap some to me? Think that I am better than Nas, so don't run on me Plus I paid MTV to play You know what, man? It's one of those things as a as an actor and as a comedic actor and as an MC, I, I, well, I embody all of those. So it's one, it's cool for me to imitate the dude, but also to just be it as an MC, I'm able to catch his his rhyme flow, which is, I mean, my little sister can catch his rhyme flow, B. Hey yo, but I, let, let, yo, that's no disrespect to my man, but it, 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 you know, he does something that's that that works for him, but it's kind of simple. You know, it, it gets him paper. I ain't knocking a dude's hustle, but it, it it's not rock him. So, so it it is what it is. So um, we went in. I, I went in and and wrote the verse like in what ten minutes. I sat down at the at the computer watching. Cause they had did a video uh, dissing, probably pretty much dissing Jay and Nas. Like they had did a video to the Black Republican. Which, that's how I really started this Jay's and Nas song, right? The Black Republican. So Wayne and Santana did uh, kind of somewhat of a diss song to Jay and Nas. Now Eighth and I, being fans of both Jay and Nas, was like, "What? I." Right. Let's go do it. Let's go after these cats like that. But it was really all in fun for Santana. It was on some real stuff for Lil Wayne, man. So. Welcome to NYSats.com. Luther Vandros here on WMYC. <laughs> yes, yes.